how to build a $50,000 a month lead generation agency with these three simple steps. Even if you live in a basement like I do right now and have no skills whatsoever. If I've never come across my face, I scaled my own lead generation agency from zero to 45 Gs a month. In six months, we have worked with over 170 lead generation agencies. First of all, these are the exact steps that lead to results. Like for example, Wyatt making $67,000 in a month from one client, 67 Gs. Or here's just a screenshot of some of the wins our customers have gotten. We have a bunch of customers building lead generation agencies and they're using the exact same stuff. And people are just making a lot of money, booking 16 calls in three days, closing nine figure agencies, making a bunch of money, booking 15 calls for a client, booking calls with companies like Ripple, so XRP. Also some example results, Jack Goss closing $40,000 in new revenue from his agency. One day closing 21K in a day, the second day 11K and then the third day closing 8K in a day. So imagine closing 40 Gs in revenue in three days for agency. Omar is a fucking stud. He's an absolute rammer making 1000 euros in a day from just booking calls via cold email for his clients from his lead generation agency. When you understand these three steps, this is what you can achieve as well. I have baited you a little bit. There are no simple steps to building a successful agency. If someone tells you otherwise, they are completely lying. There is no three simple steps that you can achieve and scale to 50 Gs a month without skills and just living in a fucking basement. Like, I didn't lie about the content of this video. After helping and working with over 140 starting and small lead generation agencies, these three concepts I'm about to show you in this video make all the difference. And this is not some super exact simple steps that you just achieve and make a bunch of money. These are like really, really, really valuable concepts that you need to know at all times if you want to actually scale and if you want to make six to $7,000 a month from one client. However, building an agency, no matter if you are at zero or five or even $20,000 a month, takes way more steps than you realize. Things will go wrong, you will lose clients, you won't get payments and you will make a bad hire and all of this crazy stuff. All roadblocks are an additional step in the journey. And in total, there are hundreds, if not thousands, of steps to building an agency. Not even talking about a $50,000 a month agency. And what I will teach you today are the steps or quote unquote rules of thumbs on how to deal with and overcome 99% of the problems that you'll run into. But before I go forward, I want to clear something up. A proven roadmap is better than no roadmap. I have actually bought and invested over $100,000 in my life into courses, coaching and masterminds to get clarity. However, things rarely go exactly like they're outlined. It's extremely rare that you can actually just complete those four steps. It doesn't mean that you can't do it. You can build a lead transition agency to $50,000 a month in 2023 using a proven roadmap. However, most people expect it to be an absolute guaranteed plan that makes the complex game of business into a simple quote unquote fill in the blank coloring book. A lot of people have unrealistic expectations. Business is fucking complicated. I'm here to explain why things rarely go according to plan and how to overcome the challenges that you'll run into when building an agency. In summary, there are pretty much three main reasons reasons why people who are hoping to build a business the easy way and just follow a textbook like you do in a school rarely make it. Those people like who just want easy stuff like they had in school rarely make it. Concept number one, the devil is in the details. First of all, an agency is made up of hundreds of moving parts that you might not even be thinking about. You might not even realize them before you come across them. What sort of service you are offering, who you are selling to, what kind of competition is in the market, how the market has changed in the last few months, how good you are in different skills, how fast you notice patterns, how your email provider changes policies. If I wanted to list out all the small things that affect your agency, this document would be 100 pages long. Some of the details will affect your business a little bit and some will impact your business a lot. Usually when gurus talk about quote unquote proven steps, they mean the details that impact your business a lot. They talk about the big needle moving steps. However, if you miss tens or even hundreds of the small things that make a difference, it will 100% have an impact as well. It's like me trying to teach you how to play tennis. The big details will be holding your racket in your dominant hand and wearing tennis shoes. However, if you hold it with just two fingers, have your shoes untied and three sizes too big, and you have had an extra large pepper on pizza before the match, there's no way you're beating me. Even though I have already given you the big needle moving steps. The small details made all the difference here in this example. Every person and business will have details unique to them that can make all the difference. And it's almost impossible for me to make a video of all the exact things 
to look out for. Maybe one person ate a big meal before the game, maybe another one forgot their glasses and they can't see. As you can see, we went from two steps on how to play tennis to how many steps we can think about. Maybe they had a broken arm, maybe they had a broken finger, maybe they had a broken toe, maybe they have flu. Like there's literally infinite amount of things and steps that we can think of. And for some reasons, people don't understand this concept when they're building their lead generation agency. If you write and launch the exact same cold email campaign as another person and they get 11 sales calls while you get two, it's not because the script doesn't work. It didn't work for you because of specific details about your offer, niche, or even website that you're missing or just haven't thought about. So if you have used some proven roadmaps before and haven't seen success, it's probably not because the roadmap itself didn't work. It is probably because of some details about what you were doing that can't be outlined in a roadmap. It's your job to figure out what the small details are and then make them work. Let me now explain how to do so the most effective way. Concept number two is covering this and it is failures. Sounds crazy, but failures are data. The people who expect that building a legion agency is like homework, your sixth grade teacher used to gave out, usually freak out when things are not going to the plan. If you pick a niche, launch your campaigns and don't close a single meeting, they get disillusioned and think that they need a better roadmap. So they find another guru online, buy their course and go through the same thing once again. And they think that failures at a step equals failures of the roadmap. They see building an agency or any other business as either taking a step forward or taking a step back. When in reality, every step you take is a step forward. And I'd even say that failures are a bigger step forward than wins. Because if you take action and fail at something, it hurts more than the pleasure you'd get from winning right away. If you have succeeded at something, like you have had a test in school and it has gone really well, you're just like, oh, I'll crush it every single time. But you don't really like learn like, oh fuck, like I really need to study. But then let's say you have a really important test coming up and then you study for the test or maybe you don't even study and you fail, you're like, fuck. I should have studied. So then the next time you're going and taking the test, you're gonna make sure that you study. Now most people let it get to them and they start to lose motivation. But the people who will make it consider each failure as an additional piece of information they can use. So if your cold emails are not working well and you try writing out personalized first lines and they're still no different, you can either think that I failed at outreach and I should try dropshipping like fuck this cold email thing doesn't work, I'll just go do some other thing. Or you can have a better mindset and you can think if personalized lines don't make a difference, it means that clients care about about something else. So there's two ways that you can look at failures. Or you can look at failures like, hmm, this doesn't work, so it must be something else. Excluded one thing that it can be. Which pretty much leads me to the last concept that people usually don't get. This is one of the biggest things that I see people fucking up with. One of the biggest reasons why people have a miserable time and they're trying to build a business. Which is concept number three, aka competency takes time. When people don't have any previous sales or marketing experience, they usually underestimate the time it actually takes to get good at a skill. Of course, unless you are super talent like Mike Tyson or Michael Jordan, even them trained hard as fuck. Like Michael Jordan, Mike Tyson, they, they trained so hard to become competent. You can't expect to go through a 20 minute video on the three steps that you need to take and expect to make a client $300,000 in revenue the first time around. Even if you follow a proven roadmap and get the exact copywriting scripts, the devil is in the details and you won't yet understand the deeper concepts behind why these things work. So if you haven't developed a quote unquote gut feeling about marketing, sales and lead generation yet, you'll have to stay in the game long enough to start quote unquote getting it. And the only way to do so is to take action, test and fail and do that a lot. A lot of people talk about skills. The skills are dope. They are really important in life and especially in business. But something that really makes those skills mean something that makes them work is the edge cases. It's the experience. Like seeing that now I'm using the skill and I'm doing thing A, oh shit didn't work. And now I'll do thing B and it worked. And that makes the skills valuable because then you actually know how to use the skills. A proven roadmaps and steps are usually created by people and business owners who already have developed that intuition. They have been doing this for months, if not years, and failed more times than you have even tried. Because of that, they have gone through the, okay, this didn't work, so let me try this instead, phase so many times that it builds up the quote unquote secret sauce that you're missing. And whenever they fail on a step, you're able to notice their unique details and use the failures as feedback to rapidly improve. What if you're a total beginner? You might think that having specific steps from a course will build up that competency, but you can't explain intuition to someone who hasn't developed it yet. Pair this with all the little details that are unique to you and you'll realize that the proven roadmap has a lot of nuance attached to it. 
to make sure you will build a $50,000 a month agency with no previous experience, you need to spend time trying to build up your instincts. Fail and win, fail and win, fail, 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 then win a bit and develop the skills and the gut instinct. Just by asking four questions, I already can know like, okay, is this going to be a good client or not? But you will never get it unless you experience it yourself. To summarize, the three most important concepts to understand to build a $50,000 a month lead generation agency are first, the devil is in the details and everybody's situation is unique. Second, failures are data and as long as you keep stepping, you'll be moving forward. And third, competency takes time and to really build up the intuition to build a business, you need to be in it for a long time. Before making over $383,000, the first year I was doing Legion, I was scraping by to cover my bills for six fucking years as a business owner. And I was always looking for the exact step-by-step plan to build a business. But I only started to see success after I realized that these three concepts are as important to the usual step-by-step videos and courses about starting a business. And instead of looking for the next roadmap, I came yeah. up with the positive feedback loop system. The system I used to grow my lead agency to $40,000 a month and my consulting business to seven figures. It is not a step-by-step roadmap to build an agency, but a way to pay attention to the details and make decisions based on data. Most of our consulting clients who hit it big rarely follow a very similar roadmap after their some point. But they still are able to first notice and overcome their unique circumstances, second, use inevitable failures to their advantage, and three, master the high value skills faster. All because we equip and teach them the positive feedback loop system to make sure every single day they keep moving forward. We do have a proven roadmap that over 170 lead transition agencies owners swear by, but we also show them how to deviate from the roadmap when needed and help them with their unique circumstances. All the results you saw in the beginning of this video when I was showing the screenshots are results of our positive feedback Club system. If you want to build a $10,000 a month lead generation agency, B2B lead generation agency, through the positive feedback loop system, you can go to agentvelocity.io and schedule a call with us. First, go through the video that we have on the website, see if it makes sense. And then if you still are interested in doing it and doing some B2B lead gen and scaling 10 Gs a month, three months, go there and book a call with me and we'll show you how it works and how the positive feedback loop system works and all that stuff. And then we can see if it makes sense for us to work together or not. We have used this with a bunch of people. First of all, Tony Young, she's an absolute B an amazing lady, super smart. Before she started working with us, she was doing $0 a month with her offer. And right now she's doing over $40,000 a month working with four clients. And that result was gotten in eight months. You can also see an interview on my YouTube channel that I did with her. Also Wyatt Beamer, before he started working with us, he was doing $500 a month with his Legion agency. Last month, he did $75,000 in net profit from two clients. So two clients, one month, $75,000 net profit. And that transformation took nine months to achieve. You can also see an interview Christian Huvi, absolute chads. Uh, before they started working with us, zero dollars a month, and then in 91 days we scaled their Legion agency to twenty-five thousand dollars a month. You can also find the interview on my YouTube channel. Elliot and Emil, again, an absolute dynamic duo. In 98 days we took them from zero dollars a month to twenty-five thousand dollars a month with their Legion agency. Also. We have an interview with them. Michael Choi, a stud, before he started working with us, again, didn't know what to do. Zero dollars a month. We worked together for 120 days. He hit $20,000 a month. Now I'm not 100% sure how much he's doing, but we also have an interview with him. Daniel Sonnegaard, absolute chat once again. Before we started working together, he was a 95 sales rep, just like making like one, two Gs a month working for his boss. But then in eight months, we scaled his lead generation agency to $25,000 a month. We also have an interview with him, a bit of an older interview, so it's not as up to date. And then Oliver Scarnield, Jad Rummer, he was doing SMMA. He was doing it for two years. He was at $0 a month after two years, pretty crazy. He started working with us and in 18 weeks, he hit $30,000 a month. They also had like 45K a week or something like last month. And he's just like fucking absolutely killing it. And this actually, this video, uh, his testimonial isn't on my YouTube channel, but if you go to agentvelocity.io, it's on there on the second page. The positive feedback loop system works. If you want to build B2B Legion agency, scale it to 10 Gs a month in a few months, go check out our stuff. If you just remember these three concepts as you are going about it and building your agency, I guarantee you it is going to make your life way easier. And I wish someone had told these things to me when I was starting out. I would have saved probably five years. If you have watched a few of my videos and you're like, hmm, these videos are pretty valuable, drop a subscribe. I think it's pretty fair. The most important thing, if you have some ideas or something that you want to see me talk about or some questions, whatever, go to the comment section. Smash your question to the comment channel because then I know what I should actually talk about here.